Hello everyone, welcome to our Scratch Junior channel. I am Ben. In the last tutorial, I showed you how to build a sea monster game. This video will show you how to add 3 lives and record how many lives are left for the player. It will show you how to use start on bump block and hide block to handle players lives. As suggested before, please use a pen and a piece of paper to sketch the story first before creating the project. Now, let's open the last project, Seize Monsters Game. Always remember our four steps for the project. Step 1, where does our story take place? The story takes place under the water as our last project. There is no extra background required for our story. Step 2, who are the characters in our story? We want to add a customized character, heart to represent the live of the player. Click the add button on the left side of the interface screen. Then, click the paint editor icon on the top bar. The paint editor will be bought up and you can draw your own character. Select the line shape on the left bar. You can also choose the line width on the left bar. Now, click the center of the editor and draw a heart shape. Click the fill icon on the right bar and choose red on the bottom color bar. Name the new character, Heart. We will add two more heart characters. Each heart represents one life of the player. There are three lives for each game by default. Also, we want to use another heart character as an indicator to control how many lives are left. Click the heart character and change the filled color to white. Step 3, where are the starting positions for our characters? We need to decide where our character should be located in the background. Since Scratch Jr. does not have any global or local variable concept, we will make use of the hide block for handling the change of lives. Let's move the three red hearts to the top right corner of the background. Move the white heart to the left of the first red heart. The white heart will move from left to right in order to make the red heart invisible. Step 4. What are the actions of our characters? Once we have the background, characters, and starting positions of the characters, we can create our story. When the player is touched by any of the sea creatures, the white heart controller will move to the right in one life, red heart, will be erased. Click the white heart character. On the bottom section of the interface screen, you can add the process for the white heart. Let's add the end block and the start on message block to receive the default color message. Then, you add move right block to move the white heart controller to the right. In order to know the exact steps, you can turn on the grid of the stage. Once the grid is on, you can see the screen is divided into squares and those squares are the measurement for the steps to move left, right, up, or down. Let's change the steps of move right to 2. Click the red heart character. On the bottom section of the interface screen, you can add the process for the red heart. Let's add the start on bump block which will kick off the process when the red heart is touched by white heart. Then, add the hide block and end block. Repeat the same process for the other two red heart characters. Let's play the game. Let's bump into the sea creatures three times to see if all the lives are erased. The first red heart has disappeared. The second red heart has disappeared. The third red heart has disappeared. Good. Now, we want to add a new page to handle the game over situation when no more lives are left for the player. Click the add button below our existing underwater page. Let's remove the cat which was added by default by pressing the cat character. Click the cross icon of the cat and remove the cat character. Add underwater as the background by clicking the landscape image on top of the interface screen. Then, we select underwater as the background for our stage. Click the add button on the left side of the interface screen and add our game over message as a character. Click the original underwater page and click the third red heart to bring up the related process. Instead of using an end block, we will change it to the go to page block which will divert the game over page when all the lives of the player are consumed. Let's test our script.
Excellent. The final step is to name our project. Click the yellow button on the top right corner of the interface screen. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel. See you again soon.